Hey guys, what's going on? It's been a while since my last video, and to be honest, it's because I haven't really been playing the game. I thought I'd make this video first and foremost to not keep you guys that have been supporting the channel for so long in the dark, but also to share my biggest problems with the game, hopefully leading to some healthy discussions in the community. For those that are new to the channel, I'm a rank 1 player that got there strictly by solo and dual queuing, and while I am a competitive player, I am not part of a competitive team. So let's jump right into it. One of my biggest problems with the game is the lack of player progression, and I'm not talking about the leveling system. When I first started to lose interest in playing the game, I started wondering why it was so difficult to play Heroes of the Storm for a long time without getting bored or burnt out. I mean, I played World of Warcraft for 5 years straight, League of Legends for 3, and Counter-Strike Swords for 2. So why can't I do that with Heroes? It got me thinking, and one of the main reasons I played those games was to get better at them and then be rewarded for it. Let's take League of Legends for instance. You start out as a noob, you play for a while, then you get to the ranking system. After a few matches, depending on your results, you're placed somewhere in the ladder. Let's just say you end up in silver. At this point you only really have one option. You have to grind it out, focusing on getting better at the game until you're good enough to consistently perform well. Once you do, bam, you go up in rank. There's your reward. What I'm about to say might offend people that are having a tough time getting to rank 1, but the rank system in Heroes of the Storm is a joke. I've never had an easier time climbing to rank 1 in any other game. In fact, it's in such a bad state that being rank 1 has little to no value in determining whether or not you're a good player. Which leads me to my next point, skill. As I mentioned previously, one of my biggest motivators for playing games is knowing that I can always get better at them. In Counter-Strike for instance, when you go into a match and you're instantly getting outshot and you can't get any kills, it's clear that you're up against better players. Then you watch a pro player streaming and your mind just blows up. How the hell can they shoot so well, right? Same thing in League. You're losing in lane, you're falling behind in CS, and you're dying. You're playing against better players. And that's good, that's a very good thing, because it gives you something to work for. You tell yourself, I want to be that guy. I want to be the one getting kills, carrying games, wrecking people, and I won't stop playing until I am. You see the gap, the difference between your average player and the top 0.1% is so incredibly huge in all the games that I mentioned, that for most people, it's an impossible task. But the fact that it's there as a possibility is enough to give us a reason to come back every single day. I don't have that in Heroes of the Storm. As a good or above average player, the difference between me and the top 0.1% of the players is the smallest I've ever seen in any game. And just knowing that I can't really get that much better at the game is a great way for me to lose interest in playing it day after day. And I think the biggest problem as a solo player is that the skill ceiling is incredibly low if you're not considering things like working as a team, shot calling, following your shot caller, giving concise and effective input on the game quickly, synergies with your teammates. Those are the things that skyrockets the skill ceiling of the game and why teams like Temple Storm and Cloud9 are so much better than their competition. But those are not things that your average solo player can really work towards or look forward to. A huge reason why, if what I said isn't correct, sure feels that way, is because in Heroes, outplaying someone or performing really well individually is not as blatantly obvious as in other games. And I understand why. This is a team-oriented game that doesn't want to give any individual player enough power to have an overwhelming impact on the game. I respect that. In fact, this whole video isn't me saying that I think Heroes of the Storm is a bad game. I think it's a great game. I just think that it puts too little emphasis on the individual player and their progression towards becoming better, and therefore takes away a huge reason why people like myself play games. And finally, my last big problem with the game, and as you can see these are all connected to each other, is the 6 minute matchmaking rule. For those that are unfamiliar with it, it's a rule that prevents the process of finding a match from taking too long. The matchmaking system will attempt to find a balanced match between players of similar skill for the first 6 minutes. But if it can't, it will drastically widen its search, which usually results in incredibly uneven and one-sided matches. You have players with a thousand hours of experience playing with or against new players, and it's not enjoyable for either of them. And again, I understand why it's there. This is a MOBA tailored towards casual players. People that might only have 20 minutes to get a game in before they have to do something more important. And for them, this rule is great. But there's a lot of us that would much rather sit in queue for 10-20 minutes to find a great game instead of wasting our time in a 20 minute chaotic one. It also makes it very difficult to get better at the game when you're not constantly getting matches against people equally or higher skilled than you. Anyway, those are my reasons. Again, I don't think Heroes of the Storm is a bad game. I think it's a great game and I loved playing it for a while. But me reaching this point was inevitable. Blizzard knew exactly who their target audience was and they freaking nailed it. I'm just not one of them. And this isn't goodbye either. The channel isn't going away and I'm not gonna stop making videos forever. 
The website will still be regularly updated with every patch, and I'll still be keeping an eye on the competitive scene because I have a lot of friends in it. It just seemed unfair and unprofessional to reduce the rate at which I make videos without explaining why to you guys that have supported the channel for so long. In fact, here's a sneak peek of a Heroes montage video that I'll be releasing sometime soon. Thanks a lot for everything, you guys are awesome. I'm DSLOL, thanks for watching, and don't forget to have fun. You are not prepared!